been chilling. Excited about some things. More importantly, I'm excited about this NBA season. Mm. Um, mm. You know, I, I the person I talk basketball with the most is the guy that taught me the game, my dad. Mm-hmm. And we just always have these conversations like four or five times throughout the week that just – go all over the place and one one of the last ones was like about this upcoming season because he would he liked the warriors like he he always say he a fan of no team but he always gravitates to them because he liked the way they play or whatever and he always drawing up these mock trades and then uh, when we was breaking it down though it was like damn like who who is like the favorite out of the West? Is it the Lakers? It's the Lakers. I think it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's the, the Lakers, Lakers, bro. Look, look, he was first. No, that Lakers. Ass, <laughs> no, <laughs> that ass, and the Clippers, especially with Clippers Kawhi don't have Kawhi, out. and I, I wanted to ask y'all that too. Like, how serious do y'all take the Clippers without Kawhi? I mean, Not obviously, they're, no, obviously yeah. they're gonna make the playoffs and yeah. stuff like that, but people are talking about they're still like championship. They're still no, trying to do that this no. year. You don't it's, look at them the same way the Nuggets. The Nuggets you take off the list because they don't have Jamal Murray, and that's why we. I mean, we can get into like the trade that they did too. But when the Clippers brought in Eric Bledsoe. So, like, I was – obviously, it freed up money for – I think it's the upcoming season. Not this season, but, like, the next uh, summer when Kawhi should be back, too. So, I'm like, okay, maybe, you know, obviously not trying to go all in this season. Yeah, I, it definitely didn't move the needle for me when it comes to, like, oh, are they now back in the playoffs? Mm-hmm. I mean, no, not 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 if they back in the playoffs, but are they back in, contention. like, championship contention? Mm-hmm. Shout out to Eric Bledsoe, really though, getting back where it started. I, I think a lot of people that are saying, like, Clippers are still there, they're guessing that – three-fourths of the way through the season. Kawhi Leonard's going to come back. He's going to be healthy right in time for the playoffs. I, I just don't really believe that type of stuff no more where somebody coming back from a major injury in the middle of the season because it don't happen as often as you Especially. think it should. Especially a guy like Kawhi Leonard. Who likes to rest and take – like, no, it's not going to really happen. Um, But I do like the trade. I, I know a lot of people – we're questioning um, what's going on with that trade because Patrick Beverly was the heart and soul of that roster, yada, it's yada. Great upgrade. Um, I think Eric Bledsoe, has the, he's younger than both of the players or two out of the three players they traded away, and I think he has a higher ceiling for for them, and it seems like they do a pretty solid job rehabilitating guards. I mean, look at Reggie Jackson, right? Um, I just don't think that's going to make them a, a championship. I don't even know, and I want people to to – to not clip this and send it to me if the Warriors are are um, champions. I don't even think the Warriors are going to be like that this year. I legit think it's the Lakers in a, in a league of their own right at this moment. I mean, I guess Utah could be in there. I guess yeah. Phoenix can be in there. But I, I don't expect Klay Thompson to come back and be amazing. Same thing like Kawhi Leonard. I don't expect him to come through halfway through the season and be like, oh, shit, I'm Klay Thompson averaging 25 and playing elite-level defense again. I don't trust – even though Jonathan Kaminga and Moses Moody are going to be solid players and and definitely for the future, I don't know how much they impact winning at the moment. And I don't know what the hell is going on with James Wiseman and, like, his progression. So I think there's too many question marks with the Warriors for me to say that they are, like, in the upper echelon of contenders in the Western Conference right now. No, that had only came up because of a trade he had. It was them like acquiring Ben Simmons or some shit. Right. And that's even weird to me, too, because I even talked about that on one of my episodes of my show, where it's like people are still throwing out these trades. Is it even possible to, for them to make a big time trade at the moment? Because didn't Kaminga and Moody both sign their contracts already? And isn't there like a 60 to 90 day, like after I sign my contract, I yeah. can't get traded yeah. until then? Yeah. So, like, I don't even know why people are drawing those trades up at the moment because I think they signed. I, I think it's a done deal, at least for the next two, three months. Yeah, I definitely see them as a team though. That's gonna be very exciting. It's gonna be good to see them like back being mm-hmm. the Warriors though. Like we haven't seen them in like two years, two or three years. I feel like because Clay Thompson's been out, Steph Curry was out for a good part of last season. No, not last season, but the season before that. Mm-hmm. So it's just like it's gonna be fun to see the West. The West is gonna be very competitive, fun, mm-hmm. exciting, and I think low key like the Lakers are like the team that are, like if they're fully healthy, I don't see many teams out west like fucking with them on that level no, yeah that's why i think that only because they're the only team fully healthy yeah yeah uh-huh. that's right yeah shout out to everybody in the chat right now at man. least as of right now they're fully healthy but other than them i mean yeah the nuggets won't be the clippers won't be the mavericks didn't make any big time acquisitions yeah um, they said large market and 20 to 20 to 30 percent chance there you go baby that's how you're gonna I don't know get luca calling, happy calling that one a big <laughs> acquisition but i mean it would, it would be their biggest move of the offseason i guess but so um, I'm not buying into what they're talking about over there in Dallas. Uh, I think they could still be a good team, but this whole notion that 
Jason Kidd is there, so we're going to change the way we play. I think they're going to play the same exact way they played last year because they made no personnel changes to play any difference. They brought in Reggie Bullock, who only helps the way that they play last year, which is Luca, Luca, Luca. I'm going to sit in the corner and catch a shoot. Yes, and that's all Reggie Bullock is going to do. Hey, but he's going to be better at that than Um, Josh Richardson was. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Where the hell is Josh Richardson playing right now? The Celtics. The Celtics. Okay, right. Um,